a few weeks ago in November, I think, I made a video about Topaz Video AI, a software that lets you upscale video footage without too much loss of quality. Now, Topaz Labs pumped out an update and that can do something really interesting. Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. In version 3.1, Topaz now has a new AI model to reduce motion blur. Sounds interesting? Let's try it out. All right, here we have it. Topaz Video AI version 3.1. This is the clip I want to work with. And before I do anything else, I first have to trim it because I do not need the whole clip. You can see here it's um, 40 seconds long and I think I only need, let's say, um, here I'm waving. Let's start a little bit earlier. That's my endpoint, and that's the out point. That is enough. Apply. So this is the clip. Waving, 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 waving. And you can clearly see the motion blur that's going on here, right? Fit. Okay, and now it's really easy. I just have to activate Motion Deblur AI and this filter is automatically referring to the right AI model. Themis, maybe that's how you would pronounce it, I don't know. Let's preview this. Two minutes later and it's done. I admit that in this still it is not very obvious what Topaz has done to the footage. When you look closely, you can see some edge detection magic happening here, but the motion blur is still here, no doubt. Which does not mean that this is not working. Let me quickly find a different frame that shows this effect a little better. I'm sorry, we're not synchronized up there. I think my system is running a little bit slow right now, but ah, this frame will do. Let me zoom in here a touch. I think this shows pretty well what Topaz AI is capable of. On the left, we have the original with motion blur and on the right, the reduced one. In all honesty, I am not sure if this is something that I will ever use on normal footage. I like motion blur, have nothing against it, but I can see it come in handy on, let's say, green screen footage. When you forgot to change the shutter speed of your camera from 1 50th of a second to 1 100th, you can get rid of some motion blur this way. All in all, I think it's like with most tools. Good to know that it exists. If I ever need it, I know where to find it. And now you know it too. And that, my friends, is it for this week. I really hope you liked it. And if so, thank you very much. I see you in the next video and until then stay safe and motivated. Bye for now.